on test today the brand new Nord Mode Pro 2024 with a special thanks to Vettenberg Surf for making it available. Welcome back to the channel of the Windsurf Coach. It's great to have you back on the channel. It's almost the end of the year 2023. This means that all the brands will be releasing their new 2024 equipment. This time I have a wing video for you. I have the brand new North Mode Pro for the year 2024 on test. I haven't checked the website yet. I'm going to find out what the wing is all about and then read all about it to see if it matches. I want to do two test days. I want to do a light wind test day with wind ranging from 14 to 22 knots and I want to do one high wind test day with wind gusting up to 30 knots to see how the north will hold up. Of course I will be using my trusty F4 foils for the test and my Fnatic Skywing 75 liter board. For foils I will be using a free race foil for the light wind days. It's a 1050 front wing and for the high wind day I will use a 560 front wing. As you have seen in the intro, I also did a crash test with the North Mode Pro. You want to know if it survived the test? Just watch the video and you will find out. The tips have a smaller diameter so they don't catch when you accidentally have a tip strike. The seams on the leading edge are protected. On each side of the wing there are four strategically positioned windows for safety. The leading edge and the strut are interconnected by an isolation valve. The isolation valve is a safety feature which allows the strut or the leading edge to remain inflated when there is a leak. It looks as though the hard handles are unchanged, but on the inside now there is carbon tubing to make them lighter. The whole airframe is built out of N-Weave 45, which is developed by North and they say it's three times stiffer than Dacron. The neutral handle has enough space to fit your hand with a glove and there is a knuckle protection plate on the leading edge. The handle is quite firm and stiff which makes it easy to steer the wing with the neutral handle. There are two inflation slash depressurization valves, one on the leading edge and one on the strut. In the trailing edge of this mode 4.2 you will find four mini battens which can easily be replaced. From this position you can see there is a fair amount of tension on the front of the canopy which reduces slightly to the back but overall the canopy is fairly tensioned. On the neutral handle the wing feels light and stable. The wing comes in a nice sturdy bag and is supplied with the north leash. Nowadays the long hard handles are more or less the standard and they allow you to adjust your hands to the perfect position. But that's enough talk for now, let's hit the water. I was hoping for some test data from Isabella as well. She is an intermediate wing foiler who likes to cruise around in light to, to medium wind conditions. As you can see it works pretty good for Isabella but unfortunately she doesn't like the camera in the wing as she's afraid to damage her board and the camera so we're switching wings. I was previously on the north Nova 2023 which is a really light feeling, stable and fast wing.
I'm afraid you have to settle for my opinion on the Mode Pro 2024. My first impression is that the wing feels a little more heavy than the Nova and is really rigid. Being more rigid with a tighter canopy makes it slightly harder to bump onto the foil. Once on the foil it feels like a real powerhouse, there's so much power. So it will be nice for jumping as well. Despite the fact that I'm riding my 1050 free ray setup, which is rather playful but not really fast, I can feel I'm already much faster than the rest. The wing continues to deliver loads of power, so when going a bit more downwind you can pick up speed. Even though it's a bit scary, I still feel in control and I think that it's due to the rigid structure. It doesn't give an inch and makes it very stable even at high power and high speeds. Because of the powerful nature of the mode, it also delivers at low speed and when the wind drops, as long as you can stay on the foil. But after the first few meters, you will immediately realize that this wing is all about power and speed. Sailing close to the wind while maintaining speed with the mode is a breeze. Let's do some jibes, decks and 360s to see how the mode handles that. As the wing is so stable it requires real guidance and a firm hand to steer it in the right direction. North supplied a nice quality leash, but for some reason I'm always in a fight with my leash, no matter what. So I might just have to switch from a wrist to a waist leash. But of course that's just a matter of personal preference. When using the neutral handle, the wing flags out really nice and stable behind you when pumping the foil or riding waves. As the mode feels so fast, and powerful, it should be perfect for jumping, so let's take her to the air. This wing really delivers on power and lift. This is the wing you need to make those high jumps. Ok, 
Mercedes wing is fast, but will it be stable at top speeds? Let's push this baby to the limit. North did a great job, this wing is really stable, the profile of the wing remains the same, the shape of the wing remains the same no matter how strong the gusts. And that makes it really stable even at high speeds. No sign of deformation or flutter at all. Just take a close look at the wing, it does not give an inch and the wind is really gusty. I'm flying here at speeds of over 45 kilometers an hour, that's incredibly fast for me. High speed test, passed. I've used this Mode Pro from 14 to 30 plus knots when the wind really drops and you drop off the foil it will be hard to get back on because of the inflexibility of the wing. So a somewhat more realistic range on flat water will be approximately 1670 to 30 knots. Okay, I know this part of the test will hurt, but it must be done. The crash test. First, the high speed crash. Finally, the air crash. I'm bruised and battered, but the Mode Pro survived without a scratch. Crash test passed. The testing is done. I did my research on the North Mode Pro on the North website and it appears they built the wing for speed and high jumps and I must say that doesn't come as a surprise to me after the testing. It's just perfect for exactly that. It also appears that North has developed its own materials both for the leading edge and the strut their so-called NV45 and for their canopy they have a low stretch uh, material as well. Will NV45 mean competition for Alula? They put in a really nice performance wing for a really nice price. This wing is stable, it's fast, it is powerful, but stability also comes with a downside. It makes transitioning a bit harder. You must really direct the wing. So if you're just learning how to jibe or tack, this might not be the wing for you. But if you're an advanced winger and you want to take your speed and jumps to the next level, this might just be a really nice wing for you. I do hope you liked this test video about the North Mode Pro for 2024. Of course, let me know what you think in the comments below. 
And of course, if you liked the video, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel of The Windsurf Coach so you don't have to miss out on any of the action. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. See you on the water.